I've known the Prelux for, for two or three years, but I've, I've been more involved in it uh, uh, since last year because one of the film of Directors Fortnite, Illegal, was nominated in the three films. So I followed the, the, the complete process and I was very interesting in, 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 this, um, in this prize because of the, the involvement of the deputy of, of Strasbourg to, to vote for it. And I think it's very important to to, to let them know that the cinema is very interesting and, they, 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 and to show them that the European cinema is, is something real and something important too. I found it really interesting and I've been really happy to meet all the other members of the panel. It seems like a, a very interesting group to discuss European films with. It's been an interesting morning and uh, with the look, looks price, I think it's a really good thing. Uh, I just looked at the numbers for European films in Sweden during last year and I think we actually need to do something to get attention to European films that are not being screened or shown um, otherwise. So I think it's a really good thing. In Gijón Film Festival uh, we try to defend uh, new filmmakers, uh, new trends of the European um, cinema and um, we are especially sized uh, in um, well-known filmmakers but uh, not released in Spain too. So uh, in these days, uh, okay, I'll uh, support uh, the new ways of the European uh, cinema. From the very sort of, actually a quite good start, it's just moved forward very quickly and very solid and now it's really in the mind of the European um, uh, community and the European film community. So when you, for example, now let me come and select the films, when I contact the, the distributors, contact the sales companies, etc., I don't let any longer have to explain what the LOX price is all about. I just tell them now we're going to have our next section and they're very eager to join and be part because it's so essential to win this prize because it adds bonus to the film uh, in the competition with the American films that when the sales company is selling to the, to the distributors and they can only buy 10, 15 films a year so it's a huge competition uh, so it's very important what they buy. Here, if they get one of the, the, the Lux prizes, then they know that they can have 27 countries translated. And it, it, it really is fantastic for the film and also for the focus on European film. So I think it's been a good idea from the start. It's, it's even better now. And it's been brought forward, forward very solidly, I think. What I can say being for the third time at the Lux Awards panel, and the committee is that the, the award is um, really um, uh, gaining its momentum and the importance of the award is increasing just because more and more people heard about the award and at the same time we're for the first time reaching a point where the films could really reach larger European audiences just because of the fact that they are nominated and then um, they are um, uh, awarded by the European Parliament. So hopefully, if the budgetary, um, um, uh, hopefully, if there are no issues with the budget of the of the award, the films could really be introduced to the European audiences um, uh, when the film is elected. I think uh, the idea is that the Lux Prize uh, gives uh, importance to a film that might have been. Uh, unseen in, in, in major festivals because it was not in the main competition section or because it didn't win a prize in that, in that kind of category. So, um, so for that reason it's very important to also have, give more light to that kind of film. And as a distributing point of view it's of course the idea of showing another European film with support you know, for the subtitling or for the dubbing of the film. And, and, and of course it's very important because it helps to, to make more promotion on the European film. It would interest more and more uh, pa uh, members of the parliament that they, they should understand that it's actually their price made of a selection out of three films 
that uh, they can decide which film should be regarded as the Lux Prize, and then the idea would be would be that a major uh, population in, in in all the territories of Europe have the capability and the, the ability to actually screen the film, whether they are distributed when 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 there is a distributor in place or trying to find other ways of showing the film through festivals, through VOD, through other means of, 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 uh, of screening those films.